um, going through the YouTube page, the Instagram yep. page, I'm looking at all these comments mm -hmm. and a lot of the comments and a lot of people want to know, who do you think is the next Bloodline member that is going to be called up? Man. There's a lot of talk about... You know, uh, well, who was it? Who, who, there's I mean, a lot of talk there, about there, who? There, you there's give two me... names. There's two names. Okay, so I'm there. assuming it's Jacob That's and one. Zilla. Yes, sir. I, okay. Zilla, I, I, I've never had the opportunity to meet Zilla. Uh, I've, had, yeah. I've met every Fod 2 under the sun just about, but not Zilla. Mm -hmm. This guy is a monster. His arms... I saw him take a picture with Booker T. Yeah. His arms were the size of Booker T. And that's that's a shoot. He is hey, he's huge. He's definitely in shape. He, and he looks, and they yeah. both look great. And as a matter of fact, I just saw Jacob and Journey in Los Angeles a few days ago out here in L.A. And Jacob looks awesome. He, he looks yeah. great right now. Um, who do you, In your opinion, who, who do you think would be the next Bloodline member to be called up? Um, well, you know, I'd have to go with Jacob. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as for uh, experience wise and and ready to fill shoes, uh, whatever the WWE throws at him. This kid is, you know, I advocated for him all the time, you know, and w once I found out he was a free agent, it was me doing my part to be able, uh, to, be able to, you know, have the another member of the bloodline who I felt was ready. You know, I'll sit and I'll watch and see which kid, or, you know, who's ready to take that next step. Because we all know, you know, taking that big step to WWE, it's not an easy step. You got to be prepared mentally. You got to be prepared inside the squared circle and outside the squared circle. And so me and Jacobs, we've been talking, you know, maybe twice a week and so forth, you know, just giving him some uh, encouragement. You know, now it's time. You know, you want to change your life. Well, the blessing's falling right on, on your lap right now. You know, get in the gym, eat, sleep the gym, and you know, cut your circle. The, the ones that are that brings negative to you to your circle. You don't need to be around stuff like that. And you just wait till the call comes, because the WWE and AEW, New Japan, they all know this kid is a free agent. And you know, if you ask me where Kishi would like to see Jacob go to, yes, sir. I would like to see Jacob join the bloodline mm -hmm. because that's where he needs to be. And I'll tell you why. Because for the first time, this kid has got time to showcase his skill on, if you ask me, one of the biggest stages in the world is WWE. Whether you get on the Monday Night Raw, 15 million people watching. SmackDown, 20-something plus million watching. And then you get on to any pay-per-view, and I've always pictured Jacob in there, and I would see him not dance with some of the uh, enhancement talent, mm -hmm. but I would always want to see Jacob dance with guys like Cody Rhodes, mm -hmm. dance with Seth Rollins, dance with, uh, let's go, Rey Mysterio, dance with, uh, you know, uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe Randy Orton. You know what I mean? I mean, all these... It needs to be a top player to really bring this kid's skills out. And that's how good I'm saying what Jacob is. And so WWE, all the agents back there, all AEW, anybody, any one of you guys step up, and if you, in case, are interested in signing Jacob Fatu, trust you me you will not be disappointed at what type of talent you just signed for your roster because this kid's going to bring it, man. And so, you know, that's that's my take on Jacob. So let's move on to Zilla Fatu. Yes, sir. Zilla Fatu looks good, but it's more than just looking good in professional wrestling. You know, I know that, you know, if his father was alive, which is my brother, that he would want this kid to learn the ins and outs of professional wrestling, that this is not a game. Uh, he needs to understand and be taught is that this business, you can either make yourself or break yourself. You can be signed today and be gone tomorrow. Is to understand that your actions, uh, that you have to have uh, responsibility 
because now your life is about to change in a different lens of camera, meaning people all over the world, if they didn't know you then, well, damn it, they're going to know you now. Mm -hmm. And so you always got to, you, you got to be walking on eggshells. And, and so if you're not smart, but if you're smart, mm -hmm. which I would never send any one of my right. family members to WWE or if AEW they smart. if they're not smart, so because we just can't, you know, we've, we've, we've done too much in the WWE. You know, I, I like the WWE is like our home, 75 plus years. And so we already have that image of that respect level that anybody we vouch for that they're already ready meaning sir. ends it out sir you know you're, you're part of the boys mm -hmm. now you're not you're not like a fan looking in anymore it's okay to be a fan but you know when you're in the locker room you know locker room etiquette mm -hmm. last thing i want to do is you come talk to me about your mask last night or you know what i mean i, I just got off the phone with my little grandson and I miss him and I'm there just scrolling through you know the videos that I have a little bit of time before I you know get dressed to go on TV and so I'm looking and then somebody comes and want to talk about their match and just while I'm you know the only little time to look at my grandson and so that will leave a bad taste in my mouth because after that I, I would just give him that look like what are you doing mm -hmm. And so, knowing me, though, I would probably sit him back down. Yes, sir. And then teach him. Mm -hmm. You know, so. But, but you, you know, Zilla, Zilla got, he's got skills. You know, I, in due time, I wish he was out here in Los Angeles, California, where I can have hands on with him and really put him through it. But, you know, he's under good hands over there with Booker T in Houston, you know. And I actually text, uh, uh, text him and uh, said, you know, don't hold back on him. You know, just let him let him feel what it is and let him understand what. Because he's got a second chance now. You know, I think before, book kicked him out from yes, over sir. there for whatever happened. And mm -hmm. I don't ever like to understand and and know anything bad like whatever. You know what I mean? That's just, just negative stuff. What I need to do uh, figure out is a solution to move forward. So I'm glad they were able to. You know, they took that picture together. That's how I knew they kind of, you know, smashed, smashed everything together. So, yes, sir. So, yeah, but Zilla, i say give Zilla maybe a couple years in the independent circuit. Okay. He's got to realize and feel that money, that $30 or $40 a book, and uh, it keeps you hungry. He's got to understand how, you know, learn how to sell his merch and what type of quality of merch, what type of 8 by 10s You know, I need to listen how his spill is when he's talking to fans and how he engaged with them. You know, I need to see how... You know, is he an early bird when we're traveling or is he one of those late guys? I need to see when we go out, like, at night. Is he one of those, you know, fall easy into the traps of partying all night? You know, does he does he pay his bill and leave or does whatever? You know, all any signs that I see is it's a bad habit sign, this is where I need to correct him. And he needs to listen to those that understand. So, you know, I say give him two years. I think he'll he he'll be uh he'll be solid on that end. Yes, sir. But he's an athlete. Mm. You know, I've seen his matches with him and Jacob and GCW, mm -hmm. which you know I look forward to to visiting those guys when they come to LA. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I and you know, thank you to uh, for GCW for you know giving my nephews uh, an opportunity. Jacob, yeah, yeah Jacob will get booked anywhere. Mm -hmm. But when you're a new cat like Zilla, you know what I mean? You need to realize that you know. He understands that this is the love from people that love his father. What type of giant icon his father was in this industry. So he's he it's not easy for him. He's gonna have to fill those shoes, if not even more. And so whenever you know you get an opportunity for independent shows to invite a guy like Zilla with that type of uh experience. You know, it, it's a it's it's a thank you. You know what I mean. So, sure. but yeah, let's let's uh, you know, two years. Uh, I look forward for good things for for Zilla. But Jacob Fatu, I say it once and I say it again, and I say it again and again until I'm six feet deep. This one here, this one here. Anybody who signs a Jacob. 
be it WWE or AEW, if you don't know how to book this top, top main event talent, you're going to lose the best out of him. And, and that's my words. And I also think he's one of the only uh, stars in this world who can skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Yeah, well, you know, talent, you can't stop talent. But who knows? There's always a system in this industry, Joey. And not because he goes to NXT, they decide for him to go. If it's me or you or any wrestler's training, what do you got to b about? The WWE just signed you, be it NXT or whatever. Right. Solo did it, you know, and look where Solo came in to the right. So it must be, it's got to be timing. Maybe they're just wanting to test him over there in NXT.